I wanted to say something controversial, not for controversy's sake, but because I tend to make my most thought-provoking videos, which I hope this turns out to be one of them, when I'm not in the mood to make any thought-provoking sentences, when it's not within me. I feel like the less energy I have, the less bullshit that comes out of my mouth because when I have a lot of energy I have a lot of things oftentimes worthless things that I want to say so I'm not looking six sentences ahead of what I want to get to I'm just jumping idea to idea to idea everything I was feeling and thinking prior to making a video and I jump it all and make it into some unholy amalgamation which is by the way gonna be the new title for my new book I'm sure you'll be lucky to see that and there's a blog spot there's a blogger account I made so you might want to check that it's my channel it's going to be something prosperous since I don't want to deal with the bullshit of YouTube and the false flaggings and all that retarded shit. Five o'clock shut. Now I want to make a controversial statement. And I think in terms of the right wing, this is probably going to get people to jump. Society isn't in disorder. It isn't disorderly. What it is, is it's deficient in order. It's not that it's disorderly or it's not orderly, it's deficient in order. It's not in the negatives, it's not in the zero or neutral zone, which has to be zero since zero isn't a positive nor a negative number. It's at a low positive integer when it should be at a higher positive integer. It should be more orderly. And what inspired me to think this was Far Westman's video, which was about, what's it, too much choices, not enough order. And that really resonates with Grog's video that started all this bullshit, which was this thing about, the title was Kings and whatever little s colons and some more bullshit and that was sort of video that started all this bullshit but when I think about it it kind of connects to why it doesn't make sense why people are status in this sense I mean when I thought of statism and anti statism circa I was looking at the negative dialectics, the fantasy structure, and that kind of bullshit. I wasn't thinking about it in the sense of what states were really meant for, which was, well, first and foremost, defense, but, and law, of course. But even more important, and this isn't the service thing, this is sort of filtering out the role of people in society in a way that is more extensive than just the family. I mean, the family could filter you out or it's traditionalism, but statism is meant to be an extension of that traditionalism with a gun to your head. So when I think about that, I could I could see how people can justify it. I mean, I made a comment on his video saying that progress procrastination could be one of those things because he mentions when you go to work and you go home or go to school and go home you want to get this shit this shit and this shit done but there's so much choices of what you could do once you get home that you just don't do it and that's very truthful I remember deleting my Facebook for 10 days so that I can get some work done and I didn't get work done I just ended up beating my meat more because I had more time to beat my meat so what am I going to do then? Get a limp dick? By taking in some drugs or 
some psychological shit so I don't beat my meat. I'll probably end up watching some cartoons and shit. I mean, around that time, I was really interested in a lot of different web shows and things like that. Granted, I am more exposed to more interesting things. Hell, I could have watched some manga. I could have done a lot of entertaining, fun stuff instead of doing what I was... I felt I was supposed to do. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, if you, say, you could say that I could have a lot less resources, a lot less choices, because someone, not just me, is getting a gun to your head, so... The choices are more limited and more regular. So it's not just less choices, and but more orderly choices. So, like I could watch, I could watch a, let's say YouTube, but YouTube is only, some videos are only available at a specific time. Like you can only watch a video from this channel at this time. Or you can basically enjoy yourself and dive into any of these internet videos but at this specific time so that kind of makes sense I mean there is more order but this society isn't in disorder they're giving the Marxists too much credit the Marxists and everybody else they want to make society disorderly or they want to do they want to do something like that and that's just not happening. It's just order has become a lot more deficient. We're def we're socially deficient in order or social order deficiency. Kind of like kind of like vitamin deficiency, kind of. That's how I look at it. It's not that you're in the negative zone, it's just that you don't have enough. I mean, if you had no vitamins or of a specific kind, especially the vital ones, you'd probably be dead or, let's say, in dialysis or one of these conditions where you're dependent on a machine. And that sucks. But that's not what it is. We're just deficient. And that's not a optimistic thing, but it's an accurate. We're not in a state of disorder. I mean, if anyone acts like that, then they're hysterical. Or hysterical. A lesser version of hysteria. They're out of their fucking mind. We're just lacking. We're little... It's kind of like... We're not dying but we're definitely weak and if we were near dying or near death well that'd still be a little more accurate than saying we're in the zeros or the negative zone because that's what disorder and non-order are and I for the last two minutes I was thinking what would happen if Marxism went through what liberalism in the classical sense or libertarianism went through when Moldbug made formalism and Grog took feudalism and he made it into subformalism, what would, let's say we were to take some Marxists, not the asshole ones, but let's say a few, the few and far in between good ones, and they were to take some formalism because they realized, all right, social order is good, so what would they make? It'd be a little interesting. Maybe it would make non-formalism. The principle in both of them is that you basically want to keep society away from violence. So everything had to be laid out and simple. How can you do that with some of the Marxist things? Uh, maybe you can take out property so that in a way it's non-ambiguous, non-complex, and non-this and that. You can take it out, say in a small scale, and then in a way that's simple, because if it's in a smaller scale, it's more simple, and if it's more simple, there's less ambiguity, and ambiguity leads to conflict, and then the Glocks pop out, so that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's not something I'll try and flesh out, but 
that sounds like it could be an outline for an okay ideology, and maybe a, perhaps a matriarchal one. And matriarchies can be good, but they're nowhere near as great or grand as patriarchy. Not that any of this matters, since I don't really have an ideology attached to me at the moment, so... I have no incentive of creating something that's functional, but it does sound like a fun little homework assignment. Now that I'm done with all this bullshit, it's time to end this fucking... It's time to start a new year. It's 2013, you motherfucker. Things have to turn for the better. For at least some of us. Alright, this is Mr. Wonka7. You suck. My toes.